fascinating. There's a lot of companies out there that say they do cyber threat intelligence in one form or another. If you went to the Moscow Center for the RSA conference last year, you would have found 60 or 70 companies that say they do it. The truth is it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And I think that it's kind of like the cloud is to infrastructure, cyber threat intelligence is to the types of information you can consume to understand the threat. And there's actually a really broad range of things that you can take. I think there's a very interesting convergence of a lot of things that we used to do as an industry. Uh, well, there's been a lot of data feeds available for some time. Uh, but there's also a lot of innovation in the way that uh, we can process data at scale and at velocities we couldn't do previously. And um, the way that we can apply rigour in the way that we examine incidents. Um, the, there's a convergence of disciplines that is really helping that um, uh, debate move forward from where we were, say, five years ago. A CISO is best placed to make a decision on their, for their particular business based on what their particular risks are and what assets they own. Those assets will help them to decide what's the most relevant thing for them to consume. And I think they should not necessarily believe the marketing hype, but look at the market objectively. Intelligence is about taking information and applying it so you can actually mitigate some harmful effect. Um, so there's a lots of different ways that you could do that. They can be quite technical, it could be that your, your network blocks threats in real time, or they can be much more about training. For example, if you understand the spams, spam emails that are being sent to your business, you can train your users to respond better to that. So it's about horses for courses. Organisations can put threat intelligence into practice by working out which processes they're going to apply it to and then making people responsible and accountable for those processes. I think you can go anywhere from network operations through to uh, responding to incidents in real time to training your staff. Each of those types of processes is going to have a different stakeholder who's responsible for it and they need to think about how they're going to apply that information for a specific outcome for that business. Overall there is a lot of innovation out there in a market which is using threat intelligence as a moniker. It's actually the same industry we've been in for the last five years, it's just been given a new label. But there are some genuinely interesting advancements being made and it's worth checking those out.